Welcome back guys, thanks for checking out another video. One of my good friends, a long time friend, brought his car in for a tune today. I'm super excited to share it with you guys. I love this car. I am a huge fan of the Acura CSX Type S. This is a 2007 Acura CSX Type S. This is what we got in Canada. It's a version of this 8th gen Civic Si. It looks just like the Japanese market, FD2 Civic Type R. He has done a bunch of upgrades to this car. Front bumper, uh, Brembo's wheel package, side skirts, wing, bumper. Uh, I absolutely love this car. And uh, what makes this even better is this is a K24 swapped built engine with a custom turbo kit. Uh, I've already tuned it. It put down some great numbers. Why don't I pop the hood and uh, go through the build with you guys. And then like usual, I have some shots of the dyno poles and then I will share the final results at the end. All right, guys, I don't even know where to begin. This thing has everything done to it. It is swapped. It has a K24 A2 TSX engine. Uh, it is fully built. I'll, I'll get into that in a second. It also has a built transmission, PPG gear set, one through four and a custom turbo kit. Why don't I start with the engine? Uh, piston rod engine, 11 to one compression, CP pistons, Sains rods, full SuperTech valve train, springs, retainers, valves, uh, drag cartel drop-in cams. The turbo kit is kind of a custom setup. It does consist of a KLM Sidewinder turbo manifold. It's got a real Garrett GTX 3576R turbo, 82 exhaust housing, tile V-band exhaust housing, three inch charge piping, it's got twin HKS blow off valves, vertical flow intercooler. Uh, what else? K tuned 72 mil throttle body, RBC intake manifold. It has ID 1700cc injectors. The car has been converted to a return fuel system. It has a Hellcat pump in the tank, a 525, I believe it is, uh, dash eight feed line, dash six return. This car's got everything. Basically, everything is done to this. Put down some great numbers. We tuned it on pump gas today. It's on our Petro Canada 94 octane pump gas. It has a full flex system as well. And we'll probably eventually be tuning the flex system, but realistically, I don't think it actually needs any more power. So why don't I get to the dyno poles and then we'll share the final results.
All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed those Dynapulls. I'm sure you're eager to see what it put down today. Today, we ran 13 pounds of boost. It put down 592 horsepower, uh, 440 foot-pounds torque. We were shooting for 600, but the boost controller was not cooperating very well. You can actually see what's happening at the end here. We'd hit like our 13 pounds and it would drop and then it would come back up to 13. So it was just kind of being inconsistent. Basically 600 horse on pump gas, uh, super reliable. This is, this is my friend's daily driver in the summer. He plans to take it to the, to the track and do some lapping with it. I don't know how well that's gonna go, but uh, it's his car and he can do what he wants with it. But yeah, uh, pretty good results if you ask me. And uh, I think he's gonna be super happy with it and be able to enjoy it for a while. 13 pounds of boost is not a lot of boost and it made some great power today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. I've been doing my best to try to make more and more videos and capture more and more of the tunes and, and uh, I think so far it's working out. So let me know what you think in the comments. And like always, if you like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and I will continue to keep making these videos for you guys. So thanks again for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye now.